joins us on 20, 122. A couple of days afterwards, when you wake up every morning at the moment, what do you think? Do you think, I'm the best in the world? Oh, I mean, honestly, I've barely been waking up in the morning. It's, it's That sort of requires you go to sleep at night. Um, so, yeah, it's look, it's just been surreal. Like, uh, honestly, I've probably had about eight or nine hours sleep since um, since I competed. I've just been just absolutely charging A. It's been, it's, been, it's just been a whirlwind, but it's also just been so fun. Are you allowed to get on the lash like any normal human being would? And just, and just having said that, the way that you train and and what you you know the, how your body is and everything, what half a beer and you'd be as silly as, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, no, like I mean, honestly, like I yeah, I mean, I've obviously been enjoying and celebrating with my family and friends and 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 my girlfriend who is who's here with me. Uh, but yeah, I think honestly, they're probably celebrating more than me. Um, I think for me, it's just I'm I'm just so so stoked and and just trying to enjoy every moment. So, yeah, there's 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 been a couple of drinks, but honestly, like I'm I'm just I'm just enjoying it. It's great. It, it must be quite a surreal thing. I mean, this is you know the something you've dreamed of, something you've visualised, something you've thought of and worked so hard for. Is there kind of a calmness about you now that you've done this? Yeah, I mean, look, I mean, I was talking about it with um, with with my siblings and my girlfriend today at lunch and. I think for me, like, you know, I'm obviously, on to- I'm obviously overjoyed. I'm obviously partly shocked. And I think, you know, part of me is still in denial as to what's happened. But at the same time, like, you know, we worked for this. Like, we put a really good plan in place and, and we knew that the training and, and the, the the attitude that I was taking into the games was, was one where, you know, potentially something really, really cool could happen. Uh, and so I think that for me, like, there's just this piece of knowing that we we put our minds to this. Um, it wasn't a shock. Uh, I think potentially the way that I won um, was probably slightly more shocking, <laughs> just with the whole jump off and, and everything. But I think at the same time, like you know, we we we'd worked really hard for that, and and that's the results you get when you work really hard. Look, the last time we spoke to you, which was just before Paris, and you said to us that you know you were arriving late, and that was you know the 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 the, the whole plan was that you wouldn't get distracted by anything, and you used the we word a lot, and I asked you about that, and you also said, hey, look, you know, all my team keeps saying use I because it's not we. But it is we, and that must be one of the most joyous things now. Every time, you know, you see one of your family, your girlfriend, you look at your your coach, you look at all your mates in the eye and you go, we did this. Yeah. Oh, look, I mean, it's it's an amazing, amazing thing. Like, I think that I've always said that the team I've got around me is, is one of the best in the world, uh, and that's my support team. But then also, you know, to have the support of my family and my friends here as well is is amazing. And I think, you know, that's, that's the special, the the most special part about this whole process is, is being able to pick up the phone and, and call the team back home, and you know they're they're struggling to keep tears down um, just because of of how momentous it's been. So I think that just seeing the deep connection they've got to it is is so so exciting. I want to go back to the qualifiers, man, because at two twenty <laughs> and no, two missed jumps. <laughs> I, I, honestly, I was pacing the lounge like it was an all black test. I know I've got friends who were behind the couch. Um, we we were riding every step with you, man. I was just praying that you were go- and you sailed over in the end. But good God, talk us through that bit. Yeah, uh, I mean, look, that 220 was tough. Um, I no doubt about it. I think that I have always struggled with qualifying. Um, it's it's something that I haven't been able to get across the line. Uh, the last two world champs, I've, I've, I've ultimately failed in qualifying, um, with the most notable one being Budapest, where I was I was ranked pretty highly going in and, and didn't even make it out. So I think that, you know, that, that first miss that I had was I was trying pretty hard, um, probably a little bit too hard. To really clear the bar, I, I sort of wasn't trusting the the timing and the rhythm that I had, and and in that second one, I genuinely was just so nervous that my legs buckled, um, and yeah, it was it was tough. Like wow. I I was sitting there on the stand, thinking, you know, maybe maybe I've got all the goods except for the the dog in me. Uh, when that when that last little bit comes, maybe I'm just not cut out for this. But I think that was the amazing thing was that my my coach Jimmy, who is also such a good friend of mine, um, you know, he just looked me in the eyes on that that last attempt and he said, "You've done this a million times. Like, you you can do it. I trust you. Like, I know you will." And I think that being able to look into that abyss in a way uh, and and be able to drag myself out of it, knowing that that would have been over. You know, that would have been my dream just just gone. Um, and honestly, I don't know how I would have actually been able to come back from that. I think that you know having three world ch- champs or Olympics uh, in a row where, where something like that has happened, I, I think that I would have been 
seriously questioning whether I was going to continue in the sport. So yeah, to be able to kind of have that battle hardened moment and then and then be able to back it up and, and just continue. Once that had happened, um, honestly, it, it just kind of felt like mentally all the rest of it was pretty easy. God, that's the outhouse to the penthouse and one and one quote there, isn't it? That's how fine. I mean, the bars the bar is wobbling as you're saying that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's crazy. Like honestly, like I think that that was probably what set me apart as well. And that and that jump off was, you know, I I had had third attempts. Um, it wasn't the only one. I also had one at thirty one, uh, two thirty one when that's I. Right. Mm. Uh, in the final um and you know to be able to know that you can you can bring it out when it really matters uh it just gives you so much confidence going into those sudden death uh moments hamish kerr gold medalist in the whole high jump with us and and you know and we wondered we wondered over the last couple of days here about you know whether it's going to take a good five or ten years for this really to sink in because we we <laughs> we don't win medals on the track yvette williams you know these names valerie adams of course tom walsh is, is you know out, out outperformed as well but to win at such a blue ribbon event, uh, I mean, this is this is his history, is what it is. It's something that I don't know will be repeated, but it's forever now. Yeah, look, I think I think what's scary is you know we've got such a rich history in the sport, and we were kind of sitting there um, on on Saturday night afterwards and kind of talking and. I I don't know this for sure because it was just a brief conversation, but essentially, pretty sure of all the rich history we've got with the sport, we've only had five people win Olympic golds. Um, and so to be a part of, of such a small group of people, given how much of a history we've got in the sport, I think it really kind of shows how hard it is to win one. Um, and so, you know, that's that's something that I'm, I'm now put my name on. Um, and I think that, you know, with athletics, one of the crazy things is, is that it's such a global sport. You know, there's 32 competitors in the high jump. Almost every single one of them is from a different country. Uh, and then, you know, the next 32, the guys who will just happily replace your spot if you don't qualify, they're, they're also from different countries. It's, it's, you can go anywhere in the world and, and there's, there's track and field. And so to, to come here and, and have all these people biting at your heels and to be able to kind of come, come away with the, the goods is, is a pretty special moment. I want to go to that final now. Um, and it's interesting, you know, you talk about 32 men from all around the world who are bitterly competitive and they all want to win. Yet at the same time, there's a hell of a camaraderie between you. I mean, I saw when you <laughs> missed a jump, there's Marco giving you a bit of a pat and a bit of a cuddle, you know, a bit of a slap on the bum with a couple of others, a lot of conversation going on as well. What's that all about at the time? Is that is that to relax you? I mean, what kind of words do you say to each other? <laughs> yeah, there's, look, I mean, it's it's just a circus, right? Like, I mean, we, we love putting on a show uh, and I think that, we we want to encourage everyone to do better because that that adds to that show and so yeah i think i think for the most part we're we're all pretty pretty you know pretty deeply connected to our performances and we want people to perform well um so a lot of that is is just pure encouragement um and a lot of it is is just going come on man like you know you, you've done this before like you know you can do it again and 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 really just kind of willing people on um but yeah at the same time at a games like that, uh, it's definitely a lot less than it would be in a Diamond League, um, just as everyone's quite a lot more focused on their own selves, that's for sure. 